It has been really nice in Montana the last couple days. My dry lots, which are usually frozen solid and covered in snow, are now thawed out. And while I appreciate the sunshine, it does make me have to do a few extra chores. I usually drag my dry lots once a week in the summertime. And typically this time of year we have tons of snow, which makes it impossible. These boys were pretty upset that they weren't getting extra snacks. I had to lock them out so they wouldn't get in my way while I was doing chores. My arena is also thawed out, so I'm going to go ahead and work it and get ready to start some of these horses. Now, I don't have a fancy arena drag. I just use a regular metal harrow to drag my arena. It works good enough to get the job done. The facility that I keep all my horses on, I don't own, so I would like to replace the footing in this arena, but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense for me right now. So I just make use of what I have at the moment. This is also where I turn out Skeletor and Studman. They have been getting along really, really well. They both enjoy their private stalls with runs, but they definitely appreciate the turnout time together. All of the horses have been enjoying a lot more time outside since the weather's been nice. I had been putting Scarlet in the barn with the rest of the horses, but she really hates it. She's been getting harder and harder to catch at night because she knows I'm going to put her in the barn. So as long as the weather's above freezing, I think I'm just going to keep letting her stay out in her round pen because it's where she's the most happy. I usually start my horses in my big round pen, but Scarlet's in there and the footing is super hard this year for some reason. So I'm going to work up this footing really well and then put in a temporary round pen that I'll be starting all the horses in. The footing's a lot nicer and then Scarlet can still have her own private space that's not inside of a stall. I had to stop dragging because it looked like she was calculating uh, an escape from her round pen. When I very first got her when she was only a few months old she did jump out of the green panels I have a few times. And I think if she had a mind to she could probably spring over this fence. It's about 6 feet tall so it's pretty tall. My plan was to just let her hang out for a few more months, but it looks like she really is going to need some kind of training to occupy her mind. I went ahead and gave her dinner early just so I could get her to calm down while I did the rest of my chores. I had someone comment how it was horrible I made these horses eat off the ground and they might eat poop. Typically this time of year it's not an issue because it snows like every day so it just gets covered up and frozen. I also really prefer my horses to eat at ground level and not in the nets if at all possible. These guys do get nets when it gets really really nasty out just to keep their hay together on those little posts over there. I do think the benefits to letting them eat off the ground far outweigh the increased parasite risk that they might have if their poop maybe touches their hay. Since the weather was so nice, I spent the rest of the day doing more chores. These guys got to spend pretty much all day turned out with some snacks. I do think that Skeletor is growing again. He looks a little bit like a giant next to Studman, but Studman is pretty short. I think the last time I measured him, he was like 13'3". Studman is a cow bred quarter horse. A lot of people asked that in the last video and I do not have his registration papers. I have a feeling that as he was bouncing around, someone took his papers and sold them with another horse which is pretty easy to do with a horse like him that has no markings. I was getting ready to be done for the day and I was actually reviewing the video I got of these two and I noticed that Whiplash and Goose were standing by their water trough pretty weird. I had also fed them their dinner quite a bit ago and they weren't eating it so I thought maybe something was going on with them. Tiny thought that I was diddly daddling so she came over to see what was taking me so long. She is very insistent on getting pet when I feed in the morning and then again at night. Since it's been pretty nice out, I've noticed her out in the pasture and around the barn hunting for mice. And it looks like she's got a little mouse belly today from everything she's been catching. We are supposed to get some really nasty weather in the next week or so, so I did put out water heaters for all the horses. I went over to check and see what was going on with Whiplash and Goose. It seemed like they were scared to get a drink of water. The water in their trough was really hot, so I'm wondering if maybe the heater wasn't working correctly. Their dry lot fence is also electric and the box is pretty close to their water, so I have seen it where the electricity will jump from the fence to the water and they'll get electrocuted. 
their water heater had only been in this tank for about four hours today and the water was really really hot the heaters that I get have like a two-year warranty and I think some of the heaters that I'm using now are older than that I did plug the water back in and try and feel if it was electrocuting them and I couldn't feel anything but I think the horses probably are a little it's bit right. more sensitive than I am since that water heater is pretty old I'm just gonna throw it away and put a new one out it's okay goosey I was super Sorry, excited buddy. to get a few heaters from my Amazon wish list in the mail yesterday. I think the ones I got Sorry. yesterday were from Linda and Sarah, so thank you so much for those. I'll definitely put them to good use. I've had a few other people buy me things off of the wish list, and it is okay. super nice. All those little things really add up, and they help me do a better job of taking care of these horses. I was trying really hard to convince these horses that the water was okay to drink now, but they were just not buying it. I was hoping that Skeletor would come over and show them that it was okay, but he did not want to touch it either. Most horses need to drink about 10 gallons of water every day to stay healthy and keep everything moving. So I needed to figure out how to get these horses to drink again before I left for the night. I decided to go ahead and grab a smaller bucket from the barn and fill it up with the water to show these guys that it was okay to drink. Horses that don't get enough water are at increased risk of colic, especially in the winter time because they usually get to eat more forage to stay warm. These guys have only been without water for a few hours and it looked like they haven't drank in days. Having access to clean, readily available drinking water is one of the most important things that you can do for your horse. One of my biggest pet peeves is when I go look at a horse and their okay, buckets have see. algae or dirt Boys. or old hay in them. That is a pretty good indicator on how the horses are being taken care of overall. This time of year it is getting dark very early in Montana. I think right now the sun is setting around 4.30. Goose and Whiplash are probably the most bonded pair of horses that I have here. Whiplash was a stallion for a long time and Goose is a fairly timid horse so they get along really well. After they got a few buckets of water, Whiplash decided to be brave and try drinking from the tank again. A lot of people in Montana have heated automatic water tanks for their horses and I have seen those shock horses so bad that the horses will never drink out of that kind of tank again so I'm glad these boys have finally figured out that this water is safe. I will keep a really close eye on them, but I'm glad I caught this just a few hours after I put okay, the water okay. heater in. Skeletor also was brave enough to try a drink of water. I did check the heater to see if I could find out what was broken, but there wasn't anything outwardly wrong with it, so I think it might just be worn out. After Whiplash and Goose had gotten their fill of water, they started running around and playing, so I think they were feeling a lot happier. I was losing daylight fast and I still had to put Skeletor and Studman on, in for the night. I'm hoping this weather stays nice for the next couple oh, days and I'll be able to start some of these guys under saddle finally. As I start in with a few of these horses training, I think I am going to do some more vlog style videos. I'm trying to keep them to 10 minutes or less so I don't bore you guys. Drop a comment below if that's too short or too long. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video.